just take us through this, Krish, might how real might concerns be that China could be exploiting this for political gain? Yeah, David, very real, simply because we've seen China do this before. I want to cast your mind back to that devastating earthquake in 1999 uh, of similar magnitude that killed uh, more than 2,000 people with thousands of buildings leveled. Now, at that time, Beijing also offered its assistance and Taipei rejected it because the aid uh, that Beijing said it was willing to hand over to Taiwan had to go through. China said its own borders because it saw Taiwan, it sees Taiwan as part of its own territory. You know, 25 years later, you've had a, a similar disaster take place in Taiwan. Thankfully, for now at least, the death toll is not that high and the infrastructure seems to have held up remarkably well uh, in the first uh, instance and obviously as the rescue and uh, search operations continue that must be the priority for Taiwan to be able to focus on the welfare of its people without any political exploitation of this situation by China. In your column Karishma you mentioned that Beijing should provide sincere gestures. H how so? Yeah, Ivan, you know, frankly, a sincere gesture would be to simply get out of Taiwan's way. Um, as we have talked so many times on your program, uh, one of the things that China consistently does to antagonize Taiwan is to send warplanes and vessels in the seas and skies around the island. It's a way for it to assert its authority, its ownership and claim of authority over Taiwan. This is extremely frustrating for the Taiwanese military that consistently has to combat the these sorts of operations. Now, before the earthquake struck on Wednesday, we saw an example of that with some 30 warplanes and nine vessels being sent across the median line between China and Taiwan. This morning, however, there hasn't been that uh, number of vessels or planes making its way uh, across, even though this happens on a daily basis and often you see these sorts of gray zone activities stepped up in a time of crisis. But for now, at least, it doesn't appear to be the case. The other thing that uh, China could do, and I don't see Beijing doing this at all, is sort of, you know, accepting the fact that uh, there has been this huge outpouring from governments around the world. We've seen Japan, the Philippines, Paraguay, the UK, and obviously, uh, you know, um, other nations as well, coming out and saying that they stand by Taiwan in this time of need. And I think that's really significant and interesting as well, because uh, they've been much more vocal about being able and being uh, willing to help during this humanitarian disaster. And I think that's quite symbolic and significant as well. Right. Um, I think it's also worth pointing out, though, that soon after the disaster, I'm just looking at this SEMP story, that Beijing's Taiwan Affairs Office offered the island disaster assistance. I, I guess the other point, and just looking at the other side of this, Karishma, I mean, w when state media has this phrase, China's Taiwan, Karishma, isn't that standard, uh, uh, standard language anyway? It just happens to be that the news flow and the news cycle has focused so much on Taiwan that when you look at state media, you do notice these things, for example, but one would otherwise look and you'd find is anyway is my point. Yeah, and I, and I see what you're saying there, but it, you know, I think it must be emphasized consistently that China sees Taiwan as part of its own territory and Taiwan sees itself as a self-ruled democratic island. And that is you know, the crux of the problem, right? Because consistently, as you point out, in state media in, in China, this will uh, be a matter of course. You know, This is how they describe Taiwan on a daily basis. But for the Taiwanese, at this very cri critical point, point uh, in their timeline, I suppose, uh, one way to say it, it's really important for them to be able to focus on the matter and the, uh, the issues at hand rather than be distracted by any sort of political games that might be played on the part of Beijing. 